What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 136 of the Games and Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And this week, we are on the road to Fastlane. Yeah, I don't my thing ready. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Do it really? Again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the road to... Fastlane. There we go. <laughs> Ever the constant professionals. I wasn't expecting you to do it. So to be okay. honest, yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't even, I didn't prepare that for the That's start fine. of the podcast. Um, <laughs> I sort of couldn't think of anything to say. So I was like, we're on the road to uh, fast lane and just sort oh. of expected you <laughs> to be there with the car noise. But, you know, I was, that's my, that's on me. <laughs> it's all good. I, I think it's because it should be the fast, the, the fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. It okay. should be the road to WrestleMania, but we have this pointless pay per view in our way, don't we? So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where the confusion comes from, I think. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this the, the this this Sunday's pay per view is so incredibly pointless; it's beyond belief. Yeah, um, we'll get to that in a little while. But uh, Finn, how you doing? I'm doing okay, thank you. Doing very well. Feeling good. Feeling awake. Wow. Alive. Barely. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. <laughs> No, no, I mean, I think you could probably count the amount of times that, you know, you're feeling good <laughs> on one hand, like through the whole time we've been doing this podcast. Yeah, one. Uh, <laughs> no, I've got my beard out a bit. Thanks for you guys watching at home. You're welcome. Do you take in style tips from the viewers and listeners of this podcast? Yeah, yeah. They don't want to see me with a beard. Fine. They can have me with a beard. So, you know, that's what you want. That's what you get. Well, Finn, it's good that you're giving oh, yeah. the people what they want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give me what I want. I'm a man of the people. You are a man of the people. <laughs> you are indeed a man of the people. <laughs> um, speaking of beards, Steve, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah, feeling good. Feeling Jesus. better than I did yesterday. So. Right, just me who's feeling crap oh, this week. I've had a cold good. all week. Yeah, that's right. All week. I've been on the cold and flu. I've just been working from home, like a head cold, for a year to the max. <laughs> yeah, You've been on the just, on the just, just a, uh, well, I've just had cold and flu tablets. They've been doing the job, to be honest. But um, I don't feel really that much better today. But you know, we're we're here. We're still doing the podcast. We're still committed to the cause. Committed to putting the um, one episode a week out, and we're you know we're doing good. Obviously, yeah. this week we were supposed to be doing Games and Grass re- Rewind, but uh, because I've been feeling under the weather, I've just not been, um, not really been up to doing it. But we will get it out there. Um, guys, I've, no one said anything about the black background. Oh, yeah. I like the black background. Nice. Well, yeah. I can't believe yeah. you've not noticed. It's always blue. Always. Yeah. We were made out. It must be really like, talented and cool. I kind, of, I kind of did. Well, I did notice. I just kind of bypassed it. And then now, now I can actually see the, the GG bit in it. Yeah, because yeah, I've got the black and the red. I like it a bit. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's yeah. a nice change of nice change of pace for us. Yeah, me mm. too. I hope the viewers at home like it. If you prefer the blue, just tell us and we'll just change it back next week. It's really not difficult. But um <laughs> yeah, we thought I thought I'd mix it up this week a little bit. Yeah, I like it. Um, it looks good. Are you feeling nervous about the eliminator today? Because this is this could be, you know, the final the final week of this current round because you know Finn, you're winning five two. Oh, Steve yeah. needs a win. He really does. This is it. Um, this is your chance. I'm not nervous really. As a uh, Leicester City fan for nearly thirty mm. years, it's very easy to just accept defeat. So <laughs> you just get on with it. You know, if I win this week, I'm still in it. If not, so what? Yeah, you know, I mean. Wrestling and, and, and gaming isn't my... Uh, pro- people will have probably noticed from listening to this podcast. It's not my uh, field of expertise as such. It's definitely so, the podcast for you, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm just on here for the comedy value. That's fair, yeah. yeah Steve, right um, you were telling me the other day that um, your brother has now started listening to this podcast and thinks it's uh, really funny, even though you know he's not into wrestling and he's not a massive gamer, but he games. Yeah, so he, he's like he's really not into wrestling. I mean, he's probably not watched wrestling since 1997. So mm. um, no, Good and, and uh, he uh, he games as and when he can. Uh, 
a bit like myself. You know, he's a family man. So, but yeah, he's he's been downloading. He's he's going backwards, working backwards on the podcast, and uh, going back. He's he's loving it. Right, cool. he's going backwards. He's listening to older episodes as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I think for some reason he he started at episode 119. For some reason, oh. he's kind of picked oh. that one and just gone for that. Uh, I don't think he wanted to go back to number one and start. I can't, yeah, can't blame him. It's rough. It is rough. Um, it is rough. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, he says he's he says he's really loving it. He thinks it's really funny. Uh, he enjoys your your rants, Sonny. He thinks they're really funny as well. Good. So yeah. uh, that's what yeah. I'm here for. Yeah, we are reaching a, a, a new and different audience. Cool. Thank you, Amazing Raps Podcast, giving you a reach around. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> giving you your weekly reach around <laughs> yeah that's exactly what we're here for maybe that should be oh, our new tagline hmm, definitely. reach around yeah like surely <laughs> fm coming in your ears where games and grabs your weekly reach around yeah uh speaking of reach arounds it's uh i think it's time we give a reach around to squinny uh at time of recording it is his birthday so regular oh. Listener, oh. Squinny, here is your birthday reach around. Yeah. <laughs> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday, Squinny. <laughs> yeah. Celebrating Squinny's birthday with a woo. Nice. Mm. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed that reach around, Squinny. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Good stuff. Yeah, man. As, al- as always, we'll start the podcast with this. Finn, what are you playing? Uh, well, this week, I've been playing and finished uh, the medium on PC's last oh, night. Yeah. Okay. And I really, really enjoyed it. It's okay. really good. Very um, you know, unique premise, uh, very cool atmosphere, all very uh, you know, spooky, scary horror stuff. Mm. And yeah, it's a very cool story. I liked it a lot. Played the whole thing in a, a few days. It's very short. Um, and yeah, really good. Highly recommend giving it, you know, checking it out from into horror. What made and, you what made you go for that? Um it's like the one you've mentioned, really. Yeah, well, I've been looking at games on uh, Game Pass. Just like look at quick things I can play through. Like last week, I played through Street of Rage. I just took it through a medium and thought, I looked it up on howlongtobeat.com. It was like seven to eight hours. I thought, oh, okay, I can blast through that in a week. And uh, howlongtobeat.com. Yeah, it's a thing. It's cool. It's not like a <laughs> masturbation website. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's you've got to be careful. The .com and .co.uk are two different uh, websites. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's a really, really fun game. Um, yeah, the only problem with it is it runs like shit on PC. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot. Of, sometimes you begin to give them a second, no problem. Other times, you like go around a corner, and it drops to like fifteen. Um, Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. It's the last area in particular. It's like very short, like walking through a forest, but it, just, it pretty much just dies completely. And it's like, well, <laughs> I guess I'm just watching a slideshow now. Um, <laughs> But thankfully, it's not it's not like a super fast paced action game, so it's mini matter. It's like a cinematic. Yeah, it is. It is very cinematic. I love the environments. The environments are great. I, I have played it. I've got it installed on my Xbox. But um, yeah, yeah, it's I'm great. Actually, the, the environments are, are are really really wonderful. Yeah, I'm actually much a lot better on Xbox. Um, well, yeah, but, I think it probably probably does. Yeah. What's it? If you're playing it, use a collectible guide so you can get all the achievements. Um, I wasn't using it. I thought I'd just blast through it. I thought the achievements wouldn't be, you know too easy but i got literally all of them except the collectible ones so i wish i used a guide now um and i was checking everywhere as well like literally every single looking granny i was like yes i'll get them all it's fine it's easy but i missed loads i was like oh where were they <laughs> will you be going back or no uh, nah nah it was what back in the nah. show probably would but yeah Can't yeah to be fair, you, you probably really don't need to add to your gamer score because it's already ridiculous <laughs> yeah on xbox 360 i've played a lot of games a lot of crap <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the worst game you played on 360 do you think for a, thra- a thousand game score uh, I don't even know I played a lot of Lego games but they're really fun so I didn't make count no 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 that's not what I asked what is the <laughs> the worst most embarrassing game you played for Come a on, thousand game score you, he knows what it is I really don't know what it is I have to look through my game list for next week um, yeah I saw there's some stuff on there did you play uh, that Barbie I, game that no I didn't play the Barbie game game score. Okay. That, that was you know I, wasn't, I didn't go that far but I don't know what it is Find yeah. out what it is, Finn, and if it's backwards compatible, I'll play it as well. Ooh. <laughs> <Nice>. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, next week I'll let, have a look through my achievement list and find the worst game I played. Yeah, find it, and, and if I can, I'll play it. And yeah, nice, cool. Um, yeah, other than that, okay, I'll play it too if I haven't. Played <laughs> yeah, it. yeah, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all play it. That can be our homework. 
cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Finn's uh, worst Xbox 360 game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, other than that, I played more Street of Rage. Um, it's awesome, isn't it? So good. So, so good. Just mm-hmm. unlocks like the Street of Rage 1 character, looking like, get, like the old like, sprites. That's the yeah. game of that, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm excited for that Turtles game that the guys who made oh. Streets of Rage 4 are making, like the side scrolling beat em up, like the old arcade, um, like Hyperstone Heist and stuff like that. Yeah. Like Shreddy's Revenge, is that what it's called? Uh, there is one called that as well, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, yeah, no, that's the new one, isn't it? Yeah, that's new one, I think. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I think that's about it, really. That's the main one I've played. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've installed, I've yet to play the Outer Worlds DLC. Um, oh, okay, yeah. That was it got oh, yeah, we we talked about that in the Discord, didn't we? Um, just yeah. a couple of days back, people were sort of talking about that and how great it is. And just getting an next gen upgrade, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's got it now. It went to nice 60 frames a second, which is very cool, nice and smooth. Lovely, and back into that. Um, oh, yeah, I've downloaded and, and played briefly uh, Forza Horizon 4 on PC. Yo, what now, the fuck? It's not driving in that game, but um. <laughs> I basically mostly played, downloaded it so I can uh, like test my PC, see how far how I can run it. And it works pretty well. So I might jump into that for a little while to give it a few. Nice. Because, yeah, it's a, it's a hell of a game. It looks so pretty. Oh, Everyone God, it's, it, it's so. ridiculously so, good. Yeah. Have you I mean, not played that one? The last one you played was three, yeah? I think so, yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I'll give four a chance. It was there is a lot of driving, but don't be a piece <laughs> of shit about it, okay? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> um, Oh, yeah, and uh, near Automata as well. I have a quick play on, on PC. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because is, is that on Game Pass as well? Yeah, yeah, it's on Game Pass now. Cool. Game Pass is so good. But originally, I was going to buy Game Pass for like three months. I bought a pound and just stop, you know, cancel the subscription. But I think we're going to keep it now because, like, why wouldn't you? There's so many games you can just play. Like, That's what? Ridiculous. The new games have been added all the time. I mean, like, the other day when we were talking, um, like, with Microsoft adding the Octopath Traveler, we, we had no idea it was even coming to Xbox. I thought it was just no. a Switch game. Yeah. And it's coming to Game Pass on day one. I mean, that's that's great. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> so, so good. Um, so, yeah, there's about a lot of play this week. Uh, how are you, Steve? Uh, what, indeed. Uh, so, I have been playing, as usual, a uh, little bit of FIFA and mm. Animal Crossing as and when. Uh, but I've... I've bought a uh, game. I know that Sonny's also bought this as well, so yeah. you, you can obviously <laughs> jump in. So I, I bought a, a game on the Nintendo Switch called 16-Bit Soccer, and it's um, right. it was 89 of my gold coins. So it's 89p to buy outright, but I used some of my gold coins. So it's kind of free. Now, yeah. it would be very easy for me to come on here and absolutely shit on this game. <laughs> and just go on about how bad it is and how ridiculous it is and some of the stupid things that it does. But it's 89p. And do you know what? If you just want a little knock around, a bit of a, a throwback to the days of Sensible Soccer and Italia 90 and, and mm. games like that, it, it's absolutely fine. But it does some <laughs> really, really strange things, uh, which, yeah. Throw-ins. <laughs> Throw-ins. So you can throw the ball from via a few bounces on the pitch. You can throw the ball from one side of the pitch to the other. <laughs> now I am sure that in the, in the professional world of football and even in the amateur world of football, someone probably could throw a ball from one side of the pitch to the other, but it doesn't happen. That I think is that, you know, it always ends up going to a, to a player. I don't know whether you've had this sunny, but I've had it where the opposition have gone to throw the ball down the line and it throws it, it doesn't even go onto the pitch. But then your player can go off the pitch, get the ball, and just run back on with it. Right? No, I haven't. No. So I've, I've, had, I've only played a couple that. of games on it. Yeah. So I've had that happen. Um, it's almost impossible to score. And it that's is not really just, hard that's, to score. And it's the same for the for the for the computer as well. So I've played four league games. I've drawn three, won one, scored one, conceded none. So I've had three nil nils and a one nil. <laughs> So that yeah, tells um, you, and, and and the controls are a little bit arse backwards as well. You can't do a run faster on it, but it's 89p, yeah. whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. And above all else, the names are quite the names are quite comical as well because obviously they can't use real mm. uh, real players' names because of licensing and various different things. So yeah, the, uh, the the names are quite comical for some of the players, but it's fine. Yeah, for 89p, I mean, it's a real throwback, like you said, to Sensible Sucker and World Cup Italia 90 from the Mega Drive. And it's fine. 
but like you can there's there's different buttons for shoot, right? So like X Yeah, shoot, kill, I, left, kill, right. B. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, and really it's so stupid. Like I don't I always get them wrong, so like I always end up doing a curling out curling shot, which leads to like a throw in that you'll just blast across the pitch anyway. So yeah. it's <laughs> but you, you know what, yeah, it's it's eighty nine P and you know, like you, I didn't pay for it either because it was just, yeah. I had gold coins. So I thought, you know what, I'll use my gold coins here and just yeah. get this game for free. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm delighted exactly. that I did because it's wonderful. Wonderful yeah, shit. it's hilarious. It's wonderfully shit. I, I mean, I, I, I got quite mardy with it yesterday. I was like, this is unplayable. This is rubbish. And then I just chilled out and started laughing and thought, it's fine. <laughs> you just take it for what it is. It's an 89p yeah. game. So Yeah, if you'd paid 25 quid for it, holy you shit. Know, <laughs> yeah, you'd probably have, a, have stuff, something to say about it. But, you know, with, with the fact that it's 89p, there are so many games like that on Switch that are just like, yeah. super cheap and... Uh, aren't I just well for for crap. lack of better term <laughs> crap yeah, yeah. There's, there's so much of that on Switch it's unreal yeah um yeah so so played that and I, I will drop onto it every now and then just for just for a bit of a laugh um also played uh well we attempted to play Sea of Thieves earlier this week and I would have to say that uh, between me you and the King of the Mouse uh, Darren Hook. Mm. It was probably the worst night we've ever had on the game, and it was as though it was the first so, yeah. time we've ever played it. We, we were, were awful, beyond pathetic. One guy kept killing all three of us. Yeah, wow. Him and his stupid fucking parrot just kept coming onto our boat <laughs> and killing us. <laughs> and then he just set our boat on fire, sank it twice, and in the end, we gave up. And uh, me and Darren went on to FIFA for a little bit and played pro clubs. Uh, so. <laughs> Terrible, but I want to get back on it because it is still a fantastic game, and I think we need to redeem ourselves next week. Oh, we definitely need to redeem ourselves. We only sort of go on once a week, but yeah, yeah. you know, we we definitely need to redeem ourselves because that was it was. Oh, it's pathetic. Ball. Oh, there's a small boat, and there's three of us. We can kill them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Christ, we didn't. We were yeah. Awful, awful. Uh, and then yesterday, I was lucky enough to uh, play Retromania. Yeah, for, uh, nice. on the Xbox. Been playing a little bit of it today. It, it's wonderful. What a wonderful. It's game. great. Yeah, it's so good. All the stuff that you've already already talked about. I don't need to necessarily go through absolutely everything, but it's just cool. It's retro, obviously, uh, and it's a real throwback. And there's just some really, really, really cool stuff in it. It's good to see some actual proper wrestlers in there, and you know, you yeah. Get, you get, you know, like Dave Meltz is in the game and stuff like that. Yeah. And the, the arenas yeah. are really cool as well. So, yeah, I love it. It was really, really good. I'm playing through the story at the minute. I've just got to chapter three. And, uh, yeah, it's just just brilliant. You know, so, sometimes when, you, when you're there playing complicated games or whatever, or you, you've got to hold down 14 different buttons to be able to do something. It's nice just to be able to pick up a game like that, a little bit like 16-bit soccer, just go on and, press one button to be able to do something or two buttons you know it's great yeah it's just it's, it's really nice good. and simple it's an easy it's an easy game to play but difficult to master yeah yes yeah i'd agree i'd agree with that uh, I, I had to turn the difficulty down a little bit um, yeah but, but it, it is it is hard at the you yeah. know when you first start playing it it is difficult yeah. because it's all timing based and all that sort of stuff so yeah, yeah it can take a little while to to you know sort of adjust to that especially if you used to you know the chaoticness of wwe 2k games or battlegrounds mm. or you know fire pro is a bit more technical but this is very arcadey uh, as it's intended to be and um yeah. it is really excellent yeah 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 really good some cool achievements as well yeah I got one earlier uh it popped i think it was a, a very generous 25g that said uh bone saws ready and it yeah because i won a, it was because i won a cage match in under three minutes so that was really cool yeah, oh, nice, ready. nice little nod to uh, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I will definitely be playing more of that. Absolutely, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Speaking of achievements, uh, when I booted up Warzone for the first time, it just unlocked a bunch of random achievements for me. Like one of them was for reaching level twenty. It's like I haven't turned the game on yet. <laughs> it's like this bunch of random. They did the same thing with CFPs. It's just what? Are they the PC thing or just some weird glitch? I don't know. So yeah, it's just like maybe. I mean, it, it may be something to do with um, like the DLC that's out for it that just boosts maybe. your level or something. Perhaps I'm not sure. Yeah, but, um, 
Hey, take take them three achievements to add to your already ridiculous gamer score. Yeah, I mean the Mark Manning. <laughs> Cheers, Xbox. I can't wait for next week to find out what the worst game, like the stupidest game that you've played for a thousand gamer score. Yeah, there's always a real crap in there. I think I must have sold it. I, got, I, used, I signed up for. Do you remember uh, Love Film? Yeah. Where you can get sent like DVDs and games and things. Um, we used to use that to sort of um, an easy game. <laughs> yeah, achievements. I remember, like, because Netflix, obviously, in its form, like now, is obviously, you know, an absolute world beater. Mm. But it started by, I think, by taking over Love Film mm. in this country because Love Film, like, had an online as well. Yeah. But it was yeah. crap. Oh, yeah. And then Netflix came out here and that was crap. And then it, like, now it's an absolute juggernaut. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. But now I use that a lot to add the games to your list, get them sent, do it for free. Well, play every month, every month or whatever. Is there a service like that now? Is it, I'm not sure what it is. I've never used it, but like, isn't there a sort of a service that you can rent games? Not that I know of. Um, we don't really need it these days. Do we have Game Pass? Um, True, but it's like, it's, 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 I'm sure there is one, like Boomerang or something like that, maybe? Yeah, I'll look it up. Okay. Look. Meanwhile, what have you been playing this, Sonny? Uh, I've been playing uh, all sorts this week, actually. Um, I've, been playing, I've been playing a lot of Retromania. Uh, like Steve, I've been playing it on Xbox um internet people don't kill us uh but yeah I've, to be honest i've been bl- trying to blast through the achievement list some of them are real grindy but i'm just getting the easy ones out of the way i think i've got like 19 of the 39 that are available so far um it's great really good runs well on the console um it's officially out on tuesday next week so in just a few days time um there's apparently switch news coming on monday as well so keep a look out for that everyone who's looking to play it on switch and Fuck knows when the PlayStation versions come in because no one said a word. So yeah, at some point. Yeah, at some point is probably the that should just be the release date now. Whenever <laughs> it, yeah, at some point. I've just... uh, been playing a lot of Pez this week. For some reason I've been getting back into that. I'm not sure why, but I'm really enjoying it once again. It's great. Um, what else have we been playing? Uh, played the Avengers, the PS5 version of it, and nice. instantly you can tell the difference. Like the 60 FPS, um, you know, in 4K, it looks fantastic. It's leagues above what it looked like before. And the loading times are insane. Yeah. Like I bet. before, yeah, you know, it was taking forever to load. You'd look at the loading screen with like the different different heroes on it for what felt like forever. But now it like loads up in s- seconds. Yeah. It's okay. nuts the difference that, you know the update has made to that game but yeah i'm looking forward to cracking on with that and playing through it and um yeah i I, you know everyone knows my love for that game anyway the enjoyment i get out of it um shitload of dlc for it as well so i've got it's kate bishop and hawkeye to play through and black panther's coming and so yeah there's plenty plenty of enjoyment to get out of that especially now you know it's in 4k and 60 fps on ps5 so that's great awesome um yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've just been dipping in and out of stuff this way. I played a bit of Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah, the okay. Ultimate Edition on PS5. Been playing through the ridiculous story, which yeah. is just, to awesome. me, completely doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But it's just so much fun. Um, yeah, but I love the characters. I always loved the batshit lore of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's the best. It's so insane. Yeah. So, like, I, I killed, pretty much killed everyone in Mortal Kombat 9. So I had to find a way to bring them back <laughs> in, like, X and 11. Yeah, now they're just like they're the same characters but green because they're dead. <laughs> the zombies, yeah, <laughs> pretty yeah. much. <laughs> but that, that's that's what I love about Mortal Kombat. It's just so over the top, ridiculous nonsense. Yeah, and I think it's because I'm excited for the new movie that's coming out that looks great, by the way. And there you go. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to to watching that. So I think that's what sort of got me back into uh, Mortal Kombat 11. But it's it's so great. It looks brilliant on PS5 as well. It really does. The details are just excellent. Really good game. Awesome. Uh, and also, I've been playing Resident Evil 3 remastered on Xbox. I've been making oh. my way through that. So, cool. uh, yeah, cool. I really love Resident Evil 3. I, I love how actiony it is. It suits me down to a T. Um, you know, Resident Evil 2 is probably a bit more puzzle based and a bit, bit, bit of a slower pace, but Resident Evil 3 is balls to the wall. Um, like action, it just throws guns at you. It's great. Um, so, yeah, if yeah, you've not I've played it, play it. It's really good. Yeah, I have that installed on my PS5. I'll get to that at some point soon. Yeah. Definitely do. It's really good. Cool. Awesome. Really, really good. But that's p- probably about it for this week, to be quite honest. Yeah. Like, but, although, of... I have been playing quite a lot, so. Yeah. Speaking of loading times, I don't know what's funny with uh, Delta May Cry 5. 
obviously it loads almost instantly, but you still get like the loading screen with like tips on it. So there's no charge <laughs> in like two seconds. So I press the X button. To... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Press this button. Oh. All right, okay. That's uh, that's clearly not happening. That's, Great. Uh, it's a bit like FIFA as well, isn't it? You know, before like a pro clubs game, you, you have the arena and you're just like basically one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. Yeah. But it now loads yeah. that quickly. You can't even get a shot off. No. Like it just no. it just comes up. Oh, I'm in the... And yeah, you're in the game. So... Yeah, you just... It's basically, it's a race now to see how quick you can get a shot off. Yeah. Can I get a shot? Yeah, yes. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah, you don't see, <laughs> yeah, you don't see where it goes. It's just... No. It's almost pointless having it there. Yeah, it is. It is now, definitely. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we've been playing this week. Nice selection. Just good that we've all been playing, uh, you know, different stuff. It's cool that you've played the medium thing. You've made me now want to sort of go back and carry on with that. I know it's only short, so uh, yeah. that's something that I definitely might do. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Nice that we've all been playing a little bit of a variation. I know that Steve, mm. you took some notes last week uh, when we mentioned uh, the Evil Within. Obviously, that's now been added to Game Pass. Is that something you're looking to uh, to jump into, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll have a look at that and download Doom as well. So yeah. I'll uh, definitely do that after I've found yeah. out what Finn's worst game is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I hope it's something that's readily available that we can play. Yeah, I hope it is something I can play. Cool. If not, find the the next worst that I can play. Yeah, yeah just just whatever it just what just whatever the crappiest game is that is available for us to play. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. <laughs> right. It's do or die this week, fellas. Cool. We haven't got any gaming news. Hold on. Gaming news. Oh Please wait, start. of course. Yeah. Sorry. 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. Rewind. <laughs> gaming news. There we go. Uh, I love it. Um, so, not a huge amount, but got a few things. Um, mm. Sony have showed off the PSVR 2 controllers. They have, yes. Very cool looking. It's like a mm. ball running hand with a little analog sticks in the middle. Yeah. And it's like trying to track your fingers and things. Similar to the o Oculus Rift, I think it is. Yeah, so slightly more advanced than the PlayStation Move controllers that we do currently have, which, hey, don't get me wrong, they do a job. But... Um, yeah, it looks it looks way more advanced than that, and uh, it has to be very excited. And it also has me thinking that it's going to be very expensive, probably. But you know what? I'm I'm willing to pay that price. I love VR so much, and I wanted to you know play the more advanced VR, but I just can't you know justify spending so much money on you know the PC version, which I'll probably need to upgrade on PC for again, which I don't want to do because it's too expensive. The thing is, uh, nothing like the the PS5 does actually enhance PSVR a lot. Yeah, that's cool. Um, it, yeah. so we we played Beat Saber just um, a few days back, and like the clarity is so much better. Like really? I, I've just re-downloaded Iron Man VR so that I can jump back into that on my PS5 because okay. it just makes it look uh, so much better. That's cool. And cool. I've, because of the way that I've changed, like our living room has changed around a lot since you guys last came over, uh, because you know COVID. But um, like we've now got enormous floor space, so that we, you know, now that now VR's a lot um, roomier for us. I'm going to be using it a little bit more. It's just it's just having it plugged in. It's a real pain in the ass because so many yeah. wires, and that's something else that you know PlayStation VR two isn't going to have, and that is a shitload of wires. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, just one wire. Thank God, it's supposed to like 15 wires you need for <laughs> uh, classic VR. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, other news, uh, you mentioned Avengers earlier. I'm sure yep. you're looking forward to the Spider-Man DLC on PS4 and 5. Um, well, let's wait a bit longer because it's been delayed. Yeah, I've no idea when... To be honest, what they would have probably been better doing is not advertising it at all. Yeah, probably. And telling people it was a thing because now every post they put on, where's Spider Man? Where's Spider Man? Where's Spider Man? Even though they announced like Black Panther and the War for Wakanda DLC, still it's where's Spider Man? Where's Spider Man? <laughs> yeah. Um, just don't, yeah, look, if it isn't anywhere near ready or you've not got any ideas in mind, don't advertise it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. But hey, it's all coming. It'll come out eventually. I'm sure it'll be great. People love Spider Man. I'm very interested to see how it works in that, um, in that engine. Because obviously, you know, with uh, the Spider-Man game and Miles Morales, they run very, very smooth. Uh, the Avengers is a lot more, um, I'm trying to think, it's, it's a lot stiffer. I can't think of a better word than that. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot, uh, Kay's next to me, she's just laughed at the word stiffer. It's, uh, she's still laughing now, just walking away giggling. Yeah, big and big in the heart, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I'm actually not going to be swinging around like you know huge environments like you're doing, you know, the other Spider-Man games. No, definitely not. But um, I mean, you know, they'll, they'll figure it out. I mean, Square Enix aren't mugs. Crystal and I dynamics know exactly what they're doing. I'm sure it'd be fine, but it just won't be as free flowing as the Spider-Man games exclusive to PlayStation. Um, so people really need to manage their expectations here before that DLC comes out, whenever it does come out. Yeah, it's coming. It'll be out. That's, that's got the same release day that Retromania has on <laughs> PS4 at yeah. some point. Whenever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whenever they feel like it. Yeah, whenever they feel uh, like it. Um, other big news, maybe not big to us, but big in the gaming, you know, abstract, um, atmosphere, stratosphere. Uh, PlayStation buys the fighting game tournament Evo. Yeah, I is, saw that. Yeah, it's a big, massive gaming tournament that happens pretty much every year. And Sony now own that, which is very interesting. Yeah, I've noticed that Smash has been sort of uh, emitted from that competition this year, so no Smash. Yeah, as a shame, that's a big loss for that because that was like one of the bigger games they played. Yeah, uh, one of the more recognizable for sure. So definitely, it's a bit of yeah. a loss. Um, but you know, there'll be other gaming tournaments you can play Smash at, so it's not, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's a super interesting. Madison's going to have a lot more eyes on Evo now. I let Sony own it. A lot more advertising going on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this, this, that's a good thing. You know, more eyes on product is always, is always better. Um, you know, there'll be people that, you know, bemoan it you know saying obviously you know because the uh because uh smash isn't going to be there maybe take something away from it but you know like you said there'll be there'll be somewhere to play smash or exactly. watch people play smash yeah it's always fun to watch people much much better than you at fighting games to destroy people which is everybody for me well, insane combos <laughs> yeah <laughs> same here uh yeah that's really cool and i think that's just about the biggest news of the week um uh, so yeah now you can carry on with the Eliminator. Yeah. Uh, so sorry that I jumped the gun, everybody. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be... go back to what I was saying previously before Finn correctly interrupted me <laughs> with the correct structure <laughs> of this podcast. <laughs> it is indeed all to play for this week. Absolutely. Finn currently leads the series five to two. It's okay. do or die for Steve in this week's Games and Graps Eliminator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Epic sting. <laughs> it's taken us till the end of the series to get a soundbite for it, but we've got it. Yes. And it's epic, epic as fuck. It's super epic. It is epic, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we really hope that you know you've enjoyed playing along with the eliminator eliminator during this, you know, current series. Um, it's been great seeing your answers on there, and you know, sometimes it's been tough, sometimes it's been easy for you. It's good that we've had that mix. Um, yeah. It's been an absolute blast to do as well. It really has. So much fun. Mm. Um, yeah. But you know, it's. Um, I'm talking like it's the last, the last one of this. I was going to say, it's not. We're, we're going to carry it on, aren't we? Of course. Oh yeah, we're going to carry it on. But if you, lose on. This, if you lose this week, then we. I think do we carry on just starting next week, or do we start after WrestleMania? What do we do? Um, I think we can carry on playing to see, you know, if you can carry get on. some more points up to WrestleMania. And see what the uh, you know grand title is going to be, and then oh, start no, the no. new series after WrestleMania. Yeah, that works. Okay, whatever, we'll whatever you guys think, you know, we'll figure it out. Look, I'm, it's not sure over yet. It's not I'm not sure yet. I can deal with losing eight two, Finn. That's, that's... <laughs> so. We'll see how this week goes. We'll, we'll see, see how this week goes. We will. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how this week goes. It is not over yet. No. Okay. It is. <laughs> Let's get the questions. Question number one. Finn. Oh, I do now. Okay, question one. Go. Okay. Question number one. Question number one. <laughs> Which heavy metal legend managed the British Bulldogs at WrestleMania 2? Was it Eddie Van Halen? Ozzy Osbourne? Lemmy from Motorhead? Or Dave Grohl? Pens down. Finn, what have you gone for? I've gone for Ozzy Osbourne. Okay. Steve, what have you gone for? Ozzy Osbourne. Great minds think alike. The answer was indeed Ozzy Osbourne. Hey. 
Yay. <laughs> no lives lost so far. Right. Nice. I think I felt a nice easy start for everyone, that one. Yeah. Question number two. This is definitely going to be a guesswork question here. One hundred percent. I mean, Finn will get it right. He's the best guesser <laughs> in the world. <laughs> you should, honestly, in... you should, you, do you do the lottery, Finn? Uh, I don't. Maybe I should. No, start. Yeah, you it. definitely should. Yeah. <laughs> in the two thousand and seven game Crackdown, how many agility orbs are there to collect? A lot. <laughs> I, got, I got all these teams in that game. Is it 500, 600, 700, or 800? Great game, by the way. Great game. Yeah, really good. Pens down. Finn? Um, I know it's a crap turn, so I collected all of them. Uh, so I've gone for the highest one, and we've got 800. Okay. Steve? 700. Neither of you are correct. The oh. right answer mm. is 500, the lowest one out of all of them. Wow. And God damn you, Finn. The correct answer was A for the first time in this series. Thank you for hey. pointing that out. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> well <done. laughs> right. So that's a life each lost. Yes. Yep. One down. Four left. Question number three. The playable character, drop the question, the playable <laughs> character in 1993 platformer of the same name, Cool Spot was the mascot for which soft drink brand? Was it Coke? A cola, not the drug. Um, <laughs> Sprite, 7-Up, or Tango? Oh, have you both answered already? I have. Okay. Pens yeah. down. Finn, what have you got? Um, before I even gave the answer, gave the uh, um, whatever's, <laughs> I wrote it down seven up. Okay. Steve. Seven up. The correct answer is seven up. I thought Friends that might trip you guys up. I guess. Nah, I that that absolute guess. Because <laughs> it's like the the little dot from the Lego, isn't it? Yes. Fucking close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, right. Good stuff so far. Mm, so far, so good. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Just having a look at my questions here. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to answer, ask next. I never have an order. I just pick the questions and then ask them in a random order. <laughs> Four lives remaining each. Next question which WWE superstar lost and won a WWE championship at No Way Out 2009 was it Edge The Miz Triple H or The Rock Pens down, please. Finn? Um, I think it might have been too early for this, but I wrote down The Miz. Okay. Steve, what did you go for? The Miz. Once again, I got the same answers. The correct answer, and you can both chalk a life off, No. was Edge. Oh. oh. You think you know me. Well, I thought you'd know the answer, but you didn't. I thought, no. We're starting to lose um, and gain. What's going on, guys? Both yeah, but... with very, both with the same answers so far. Though. Yeah. Which, ti which title was it? Yeah, oh, which title was it? Oh. Yeah. No. I'm, guessing, I'm guessing he maybe cashed in Money in the Bank or some shit. I have no idea. What kind of quiz has he you? You don't even know the answers yourself. God. Look, I'm not Bradley <laughs> Walsh. I don't have somebody feeding me the fucking answers. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Some of these questions I don't even know the answers to until I read the answer. <laughs> well, me and Finn have got no chance then. Yeah. Hey. Who do we have? You're the expert <laughs> out of the three of us. 
Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking anorak over there. Hello. Next question. <laughs> Three lives left each. Mr. Perfect replaced which WWE Hall of Famer and tagged with Randy Savage at Survivor Series 92? I'm sure you've both watched this recently. <laughs> Was it Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior, the Honky Tonk Man, or the Big Boss Man? No idea. Pens down. Finn, what have you got? I've gone for Hulk Hogan, brother. Okay. Steve? Warrior. Ooh, a Complete guess. The answer is the ultimate warrior. Oh, no. No, Finn. I mean, who's it? Impossible. Take a life off, my friend. <laughs> Oh, the sound effects. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Steve has three lives. Finn Steele has two lives. Ooh. Next question. In Telltale's first season of The Walking Dead, Lee Everett was a professor professor of which <laughs> subject before the zombie outbreak history geography science or maths pens down Finn what have you got I'm for history okay Steve what did you go for Science. The correct answer was history. Congratulations, Ben. Hey, Life off for Steve. I think I kind of knew that. It was in the back of my head somewhere. Telling me history. I had no idea. That's how much I paid attention yeah. to that because I've, <laughs> I've beat that game twice. It's good. <laughs> Great game. Go. I'll be, I'll be game. I've not, never played it. Really good. Easy thousand gamer score as well, Steve. Very yeah. Good. Yeah, literally just play through it. Yeah. Right. Two all. Two lives left each. Tying it up. Tight one. Tight one this week. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Next question. The Virtual Boy was released in 1995 by Nintendo. And it was an early attempt at VR. That was shit. Only capable of a monochrome display. What was the color displayed? Come on now. Red, blue, green, or yellow? Pens down. Finn, you clearly know the answer. What is it? It was red. Okay. Steve, what did you go for? Yellow. The answer is red. It made your eyes yeah. Could see the cocky look on Finn's face when you said it. He was like, hmm, I know the answer to this. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure if you'd know that one or not. I don't I didn't, I didn't know if it was gonna be uh one that you were proper up on. Steve, you've lost the life, so you are down to one. <laughs> it's okay, a classic so. contour for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll <laughs> take your word for it. <laughs> Next question. Steve, you have one life remaining. Finn. You have two. It's all to play for. Which, sorry, sorry, that's incorrect. WWE superstars comp competed against athletes from which professional sport in a battle royal at WrestleMania 2? Was it boxing, American football, ice hockey, or basketball? Down tools, please, gentlemen. Finn Steele, what did you go for? I have football, because America. Steve? American football. All right. The answer was indeed American football. 
WWE loves some American football. <laughs> yeah, they do. Next question. What was the name of Coco Beware's bird? <laughs> Freddy, Frankie, George, or Cliff? <laughs> Pens down, please. <coughs> Finn? Um, no idea. I'm a guest there, Frankie. Okay. Steve? Yeah, I'll guess Frankie as well. <laughs> the correct answer is Frankie. Congratulations. Oh. Well, I was I good at this? <laughs> I was I good at guessing? Yeah, it's probably one of them, you, you know it. Like you say, it's in the... It's Maybe, yeah, in the back of my mind. Like process, you're like, uh, it's, not, it's not Cliff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nick I couldn't Cliff. think of another stupid name. <laughs> Cliff was literally the first thing that came into my head. <laughs> no, Next thanks question. to the Cliffs out there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> in what year was the Game Boy Color released? 96, 97, 98, or 99? Pens down. Finn? Uh, another guess. Uh, 96. Okay. Steve? 98. Or 10. The answer it was 1998. Oh. Bollocks. <laughs> I had to dig deep into the memory bank then and think, yeah. I remember my brother having one. And I'm thinking, how old would he? He, he was, yeah. Yeah, I did something similar. I, now I had one, but how old was I? Yeah. You know, but yeah. I mean, I almost got 99. Gotta be honest. One life each. <laughs> One life remaining. What could both lose? I guess this goes to a decider. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Which I am not prepared for. <laughs> we'll have a socially Next. distanced arm wrestle, Finn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's going to sound so weird to people listening <laughs> to the audio version of this. Apologies. We're not sorry. Not, nothing for anything. I'm not, I'm not bad <laughs> no. for that. No. Right. <laughs> Next question. One life each remaining. Which WWE Hall of Famer broke Bruno Sammartino's neck in Madison Square Garden? Ouch. Yeah. Was it the Iron Sheik, Stan Hansen, Hulk Hogan, or Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? Pens down. Finn Steele. Um, another guess. Uh, Stan Hansen. Okay. Steve. I've also yeah. gone for Stan Hansen. You sure. are both correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is good. Good stuff. Mm. You've both been on form today. Yeah. I can hear Discord going nuts in the background. Wish Definitely. those nerds would go away. <laughs> <laughs> nerds. Next question. Which face button is shared by PlayStation, Xbox, and most Nintendo controllers, though in a different location on each? Come on. That is an open ended question. Come on. At least we talked about this last week. Usually blue as well. Finn? Uh, it's the X button. Fuck you, get mixed up. Steve? X. Uh, the answer was B. I'm going to use X. Wait, no, it's not. 
<laughs> you dicks, it's, it's X, it's obviously yeah. X. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> I, quickly, I quickly scribbled out the, uh, <laughs> the thing. <laughs> show, you, show you working out, show you working out. <laughs> it was definitely X, but I loved seeing the, the confused look on both of your faces when, uh, when I said the wrong answer. Yeah, I was like, where's the B on the PlayStation controller? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People okay. Back. Yeah, back back neither. Yeah. Next question. Still one life remains. Mm. Who managed the Islanders to defeat the British Bulldogs and Coco Beware at WrestleMania 4? Was it Bobby the Brain Heenan? Was it the Grand Wizard? Was it Mr. Fuji? Or was it Luna Vachon? Writing utensils down, please. <laughs> Finn. I've gone for Luna. Okay. Steve. Mr. Fuji. Ooh. You are both wrong. Oh, <laughs> Carry on. It was Bobby the Brain Heenan. No, oh, um, I was going to fucking. I was going to put that as well, but I changed it. Damn it. <laughs> Got to go with the gut. I was I was shook by the the answer being potentially being A. That's what did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I've got to find more questions, you pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, your pop's not being prepared, isn't it? Yeah. Well, usually it's over by now. <laughs> yeah, usually Finn's beat me. Yeah, usually it's, it's usually it's all over. Now we've yeah. run. We're literally in sudden death. We are. Sudden death. Oh, okay. Next question. Sudden death. Yeah. Who holds the record for managing the most WWE tag team champions? Is it Sonny? Is it Paul Ellering? Is it Captain Lou Albano? Or is it Bobby the Brain Heenan? Scribes down. <laughs> Finn? I didn't know you were a manager, but I'm going to put you anyway. Sonny. Okay. <laughs> Steve? B. Paul Ellering. The competition goes on. Yeah. Because you're both wrong. It is it. Captain oh! Lou Albano. <laughs> I celebrated a bit too early then. Fucking hell. Ugh. We're still in sudden death. Good bluff there. Good bluff. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. So it's all good. You need to ruin your dreams. No, it's fine. They were ruined a long time ago. Anyway. <laughs> Same. Just <laughs> <laughs> having a quick look here through uh, some some questions. Some of them are too easy. I'm not. I'm none of that shit. <laughs> Okay. The tension, you can cut the tension with a knife. You can. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Sudden death. Who was the first WWE superstar to win Money in the Bank and not become champion? Is that open-ended? Huh? Is that open-ended or have you got choices there? There's choices. Give me a sec. I'm just I'm keeping the tension going. It's sudden death, Finn. Okay, okay. Apologies. Is it Damien Sandow? Baron Corbin? Or Mr. Kennedy? Kennedy... Kennedy. <laughs> okay, sudden death. Finn, what have you got? Um, I was really going to put a sand out. Then you mentioned Mr. Kennedy. 
Okay. Kennedy. Kennedy. Finn. Steve, sorry. Damien Sundown. The answer. And the winner of this week's Eliminator. A new Eliminator champion uh, is Finn Steele. Congratulations, Finn. The answer hey. was indeed Mr. Kennedy. Well, Finn. Kennedy. So Thank Finn you. wins the first series of the Eliminator 6 2. Woo. Well, I'm going to today, though. I've Give already written a round of applause, man. Well done. You sound out there. Um, thank you. I thought I was going to open my nip, but I was going to put a stand down. I completely forgot about Mr. Kennedy. 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 Congratulations, Finn. Well done. Thank you. You are thank the you first too. champion. Yeah. Um, so now I will be the one to challenge Finn Steele in the Eliminator, and Steve will become the host, as it yeah. is winner stays on. Cool. Hell of a contest this week, though. Yeah, it was good, though. Really good. Hell of a contest. Some, some, some tough questions, some easy questions. Good mix. Sandow did fail Tash in, though, didn't he? But yeah, but, and Tony totally Baron Corbin, yeah. 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 Yeah, I know all three, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Well done. That, that was a good contest. Fun time. Congratulations. Go to Finn. Thanks very much. Thank you. We'll figure out what we're going to do next week, whether we, yeah, whether we yeah, carry yeah. on this series or whether we just start a fresh series next week. Mm. Yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. We will. We will. Let us know what you think in Discord or Twitter. Yeah, you tell us what you want us to do. Basically, you're the ones who listen to this and yes. you know, you're the ones who should really determine what we actually talk about. So uh, if you want us to carry on the current series and see if Steve can boost his score up before WrestleMania... Let us know if you want us to start afresh next week with Sonny versus Finn with Steve as the Quizmaster. Let us know. Someone just died back in the next week just for that. I'm sure yeah. Good stuff, yeah. Hey, at least at least the place is getting cleaned. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the week in wrestling highs and lows. Um, it's not been a, a terrible week, I don't think. It's been. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's been, been a terrible week. Yeah. I mean, so we're on the road to WWE Fast Lane. We are indeed. <laughs> Which is uh, this coming Sunday. We're going to do the predictions on the pre show before the pre show. Uh, Finn, if you're not going to be a part of the pre show this week because of your ridiculous working hours and the early start for Fast Lane, what, what? We'll, we'll, we'll talk about your predictions on the pre show as well. Cool. It might jump in right at the end. Don't forget time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, do it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whenever you're available to jump in, jump in. Cool. But yeah, guys, we, the pre-show before the pre-show will be live this Sunday uh, at 9 o'clock on Facebook and YouTube. So yeah. that's the Games and Graps Facebook, the Powered 4 TV Facebook, and the Games and Graps YouTube channel. All right, so uh, yeah. be sure to come along and check that out. Mm -hmm. But Steve, I'm going to hand over to you for this week in wrestling. Yes, indeed. Before I go through that, just a couple of bits of wrestling news. So Eric Bischoff is going to go into the 2021 Hall of Fame. I'm bad. Yep. I'm better than ever. Yeah, that's good. I, you know, he's been yeah, on AEW TV, so. you know, a couple of times recently. So WWE probably wanted to, uh, you know, nip that in the bud a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Yes, get him in there. So, yeah, cool. He joins Molly Holly in the 2021 class. Congratulations, Eric yes. Biscoff. Yes. Biscoff, yeah. <laughs> Eric Biscoff Biscuit. So, um, yeah, and uh, the only other thing was it looks like uh, Charlie Caruso is on her, on her way out. Apparently her deal is coming to an end pretty soon, and she's upset a couple of people, and um, it's not being renewed. So, um, Is that because of the, the, uh, like the DP joke from... The other week on Raw Talk. <laughs> Who knows? That Who knows? Her, her deal was a deal was up uh, this year anyway, and then I think she's um, she. There's been a couple of complaints from some of the uh, locker room leaders about her timekeeping in terms of turning up for interviews and stuff. So uh, 
and, and apparently word has gotten back to Vince and I think the decision's been made that she's because she's not been on TV much at all, has she? Last yeah. To be honest, I skipped through Raw so a, quick that I haven't even noticed. Yeah. She's I not been on as, as a backstage, that. yeah, as a backstage person, she's not really been on. So she's going. Um, but I, I always kind of felt a bit like um, Renee Young that she was probably too good for WWE anyway. And she she hosts a yeah. load of other stuff anyway, doesn't she? ESPN and and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I th- she's got a she's got a great future ahead of her. I really like Charlie. Yeah. Um, what Vince will just do now is just pop into the WWE warehouse and uh, just take another attractive lady off the endless stockpile of yeah. good-looking ladies who can do interviews and uh, just stick another one in there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There seems to be a new one every week. They just turn up. Mm. Yeah. Hi, Definitely. my name is my name is Sarah Silverback, and uh, <laughs> my guest at this time are the Dirty Dogs. And, you know, on they come, and it's like, who the fuck is this person? Where, where where have they had this person from? Who's she? What's her Instagram? Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I really miss Kathy Kelly. She was my favorite. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> terrible choice. That's one for the. That's one for the uh, WWE boobs account. There's nothing yeah. good this week, by the way. Squinny did request as a birthday present instead of his reach around. He um, we talked about WWE boobs, but you know what? I did have a quick scan. Um, earlier on before we started recording and they've not put anything even rem- as remotely hilarious as the Bailey one from last week. <laughs> no. Uh, I think, uh, they've had opportunity as well this week. But anyway, we'll move on. Um... <laughs> right, anyway, this week no in wrestling. About. No, no, not at all. Not at all. It's just you that messages me. But anyway. Um, <laughs> so, Raw. Um Drew comes out, uh, has a bit of a uh, war of words with Bobby Lashley and calls him a big, bold bitch. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, bitch. That. Yeah, you big, bold bitch. <laughs> Vince's but... favourite word. Yeah. And then I think he nutted him, didn't he? I'm not sure. He did something to him. Um, involved in that segment was uh, was uh, the Miz and Morrison. And Mor- what is going on with Morrison's hair? It's <laughs> terrible. What, I don't know what I he's mean, doing. His so, hair yeah. looks worse than mine, and I'm and I'm... Eight weeks overdue a haircut, and this is and, and the reason I'm wearing a cap because yeah. it looks shocking. So, yeah, it says a lot. His hair looks absolutely terrible. I don't really know what he's doing there. Um, but obviously, all of that it, it all sets up this kind of uh, Drew and Drew and Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. Apparently, that's just come from nowhere. Don't know what that's yeah, they just like announced it even before it started. It. it was like, yeah, well, yeah, well breaking I'm, news I'm at WrestleMania. You. Yeah, 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 strange. Strange. Mm. Um, so it again, it kind of it feels like you you've already you already know what's going to happen uh, at, at Fastlane this Sunday. You got Drew versus Sheamus, and uh, yeah, but Drew's going to go the only, into the main event WrestleMania anyway. So the only the only thing I can think here is that it's not as clear cut as they're making it out to be, and Sheamus is going to win and then inject himself into the title picture. That's the only thing I can think here. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think I, I I feel it's all heading towards Drew winning, so he gets his moment in front of a crowd, which we've already spoken about and said that's might not necessarily always the right thing to do. Lastly, no. deserves a good run with the title. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, um, but then that may play into, and I'll come on to that a little bit later. It may it may play into uh, the beginning of the end of the hurt business. Who knows? Uh, because of what happened mm. later on in the night. Um, Braun and Shane had and had one of two promos. Uh, the first one was, this was the first one. It was a little bit, but well, it was better than the week before, at least. Um, but it's still awful though. I don't understand why Shane not got a promo these days. No, yeah. no, there's something not, something's not right there at all. He's usually been fairly decent on the mic, isn't he? Yeah, he's never really been bad or anything. No, not no, I could, no, not really. I mean, when he. I don't know. He just sweats a lot. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> sweat a lot. Sweaty, sweaty man. Um, <laughs> there we've had we had uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler making one of their eighteen contractually obliged appearances <laughs> this week. Uh, they were ringside for Lana and Naomi versus Dana and Mandy. Oscar interrupted the match and uh, basically beat the shit out of Shayna Baszler. So that was cool. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm all for that. No Charlotte Flair this week on Raw. 
Yeah, I also noticed, well, a lot of people had noticed that um, she'd been removed from the WrestleMania poster because obviously they've been advertising uh, tickets this week. And yeah. the ticket link, you know, which has like a poster attached to it, doesn't have Charlotte Flair on there anymore. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. And obviously this this comes, uh, could be complete coincidence, but it comes at around the same time that Andrade has requested his release as well. So, uh, interesting. you know, as a... Are, are these hacks looking too far into it, or is there something behind that? I mean, there could be something behind it, but one thing I will say is that WWE would be fucking brain dead to let Charlotte go because she could go anywhere and become the top star. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if, I mean, I, I know she, we. Yeah, go yeah. on. Sorry. If they let Charlotte go, it's obvious where she's going. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. They'll, give her, they'll give her a blank bloody check, won't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, name your price. She. <laughs> We we go on about we joke about how much she's in the title picture and how she's almost caught up with uh, with Rick and got a hall ready and all of that, but yeah she's she would she's massive a massive star and they would be daft yeah. to to let her go might be something different might be something inconspicuous she might be injured and you know they've I'll just be having a boobs done again to, who knows <laughs> more than likely she she hasn't face done anymore she won't be able to smile or talk so. Uh, <laughs> That's true. I mean, she's had so much work done. She doesn't even need to. She's she a great-looking girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She still it. is a great-looking girl. I don't mean like that. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you know, hey, yeah. sometimes I think, you know, plus people with plastic surgery, they just, they always want to go that extra step, don't they? Yeah. But when yeah. you see them, it's like, addictive, I think. Yeah, I mean, you should see like what Finn looked like before the surgery. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty bad. I mean, Jesus. Mm. That, <laughs> that hair that he's got at the front there, that's uh, Smackdown 2 oh. forehead hair. Yeah, that's sewn on. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not even real. It's not even his real hair. Yeah, that's why he's got not real. No, no, uh, teeth not real. Teeth not real. <laughs> a few other things as well, but we won't go into that. Um, yeah. So yeah, okay. So that was that. That was a match. Um, <laughs> then again, a strange one for me: New Day versus Hurt Business for the titles. Now. Great tag match mm, for great. top guys in the ring. I uh, really like New Day's uh, ring gear as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. To, to Mortal Kombat. It was great. Um, I'm not sure why this match couldn't have waited until Mania, though. You could have had next three, four weeks, decent build, have the match. But I don't there. know why it has to be New Day. What? What? Yeah. Where, where are the rest of the tag there teams? There is that. Did, did, they need, did they really need that 11th title win? That's... No, they didn't, did they? At all. I, I just don't get it. Is it um, is it a case of putting the belt on someone like the New Day ahead of WrestleMania so that people go, oh, the New Day are going to be at WrestleMania as champions. Let's buy tickets. Yeah, but surely hmm. that's not a defining factor in people buying WrestleMania tickets. Maybe they just wanted them at the title match. That's but... shit, by the way, if that is the case. Yeah, I mean, trying to think of who, who else could challenge them other than her business. Let's have a rematch at, at WrestleMania. Who knows? It's strange, isn't it? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I mean, it's, it's strange, isn't it? Because over on SmackDown, as I'll, I'll come on to in a bit, you've got four tag teams trying to go for one belt, which is fine, whether you think they're all any good or not, is another mm. thing. Uh, but then on Raw, they've just, you know, gone with... The old faithful, eleven-time tag champs, the New Day. Yeah, New Day her business retribution, I guess, and I don't think of anyone else. So New Day and Hurt business then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a fine match. It was it was a good match. Yeah, really good. Yeah, not a problem. This is why but... they should only have one set of tag team titles. Yeah, have yeah. everybody have them travel across the brands because, well, you know, not NXT keep that separate, but you know have one set of tag team titles uh, across both Raw and SmackDown because at least then the tag division is competitive. Not yeah. everything has to have a championship attached to it, you know? I really hope when like New Day and, and Street Bob and Swiss places that they would have that unification match. But nope. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, I have my title. Let's okay. just trade. Because yeah. that's swap. good. Yeah, thanks. Just swap and make Street Profits like triple crown champions without them even trying to get one of them. <laughs> It was very strange. Yeah, no. um, and to make things even stranger, uh, during the celebrations, AJ comes out with uh, Omos. Uh, yeah. And they declare that they are now a tag, cha- tag team, easy for me to say, yeah. and that they're going to challenge the New Day 
at Mania and the New Day accept. I don't right. think this is going to be the match. Right. I don't. I don't think this ends up being the match. I think there's um, maybe another tag team. Maybe her business get entered back in there, and um, I'm going to go there. But maybe Braun and Shane get entered in there as a yeah. tag team. Maybe. Um, the yeah, way that, it's a bit strange. The, I, the, I say it's this gone because a bit strange, obviously. Yeah, I say this because, you know, I thought they were going to save Braun and Shane for WrestleMania. Mm. So the Shane has his, you know, usual WrestleMania match, flies off something massive and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Braun's not doing anything. Shane is definitely going to be around for WrestleMania, you would expect. No one wants to see a rematch. Do they sort of beat the crap out of each other, have some sort of mutual respect, then form a tag team and enter themselves in the title picture? Possibly. I mean, I find it a bit strange that they... WWE had removed that match from Fastlane. What Shane match? versus Shane. Oh, have they? But then on SmackDown last night, they were advertising it again. So, oh, it, your your theory of maybe they become a tag team come WrestleMania probably will happen because because they'd removed it, and the thinking was, oh, well, they're just gonna they're just gonna build it and build it now until Mania, save it yeah. for Mania. But it is actually happening on Sunday. According to, as as per what was advertised on SmackDown last night, so hmm. you are probably right there. So um, yeah, a bit of a strange. I mean, we we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? What's what's AJ Styles going to do at WrestleMania? Uh, and yeah, it seems like we, we have our answer. So yeah, I already like from that they had yeah. the chance to do that. It's like we got my head. Kofi Kingston said something quite funny. He was like, "Are you even registered as a tag team?" I, thought, oh, yeah, I think <laughs> okay. just registered. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do they have to officially he's registered as tag teams? You signed your tag team forms? No, I mean, you're not having a match then. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> AJ, get your mum to sign the uh, the permission slip for you to be a tag team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that one plays out. Um, Bad Bunny uh, gives up his 24 7 title to, to R Truth. So R Truth is 9 million time champion now. To be fair, he got some good shit in return. Title. Mm. Yeah, yeah, cool God, yeah, he got some really cool stuff. The Austin stuff, yeah, really cool. I'd rather have that smoking school belt than the 24-7 title. Yeah, same. I'd rather have the vest. Or the, the jacket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, I quite like the tin as well. I'd take my sandwiches to work in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I might have a look and see how, see how much they are. Um, yeah. And then, not long after that, obviously, we have... Uh, so. Priest uh, makes light work of uh, Jackson Riker, but then Miz and Morrison comes down and, uh, well, Morrison comes down and off the distraction, Miz taps Bad Bunny on the back with a guitar. Bad yep. Bunny goes down like a sack of shit. Um, and that reignites <laughs> that feud in time for Mania. I mean, yeah, it was yeah. hardly Jeff Jarrett on uh, Beetlejuice, was it? So. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Which is the best footage of all time, by the way. <laughs> hey, slap nerds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Slab Nudge Smack. Yeah. <laughs> Crunches the guitar over his head. Amazing. JJ does not give a shit. Just no. I loved that version of Jeff Jarrett, by the way, the Slap Nuts version. Mm. It was great. Yeah. No, it was yeah. really cool. So we see Strowman and Shane for the second time of the night. They're supposed to be having a match. However, Shane is running away from Braun. Braun does his thing where he uh, runs around the ring really, really fast. Um, Shane then smacks him with a camera. Shane is just sweating like a big sweaty <laughs> fuck at this point. He's just <laughs> dripping, absolutely dripping with sweat. Right? Yeah. He it's even disgusting. slips. He slips and that's what made him jump for the camera he shot. Sl- that, uh, <laughs> where he hits Braun. Um, Shane does his... Uh, customary dive off the turnbuckle through the announce table onto Strowman, of course. Uh, and then he gets this green stuff from under the ring and pulls it all mm. over Strowman. Yeah. Now, green. why is that there? <laughs> I think we'll keep that under Yeah. Yeah. No one's over there. Just in case. Just in case Nickelodeon come calling and they need... <laughs> 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 just in case you know somebody's going to be from WWE is going to be a guest on Noel's house party and they need <laughs> like, the, the, the gunk t- <laughs> they need the gunk tank to be filled up yeah a lot of fucking nonsense Noel's house party great show uh, I don't think lobby, it's lobby, aged lobby. Well. no I don't think it has either not really No. not that I've watched no. it in the last you know 25 years but <laughs> 
No, God, we're old. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so apparently we're getting Alexa Bliss versus Randy Orton at Fastlane. Mm, I wonder what this is leading. I wonder what <laughs> I wonder what this is leading to. Mm, I wonder. Yes, maybe. Do you think when we do eventually get the Fiend versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania, we're gonna have like the maggots and shit in the ring that we had before? Remember that? I really hope not. It's gonna be a load of nonsense, isn't it? Uh, I think the yeah. people might with a new mask, like bald path burn or something. Yeah, um, I think that. Yeah. yeah, I think it might be something like that. Maybe it's trying That'd to reboot cool. Tampa, maybe do something with it. Maybe it's gonna be ruined, and you know, by WWE because Vince doesn't you know, get it. We'll get totally back, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's the thing for Fast Lane. We'll see what happens there. Uh, <laughs> uh, we then get uh, Oscar versus Baszler because second appearance of the night contractually obliged. Uh, Oscar <laughs> wins by pinning Baszler whilst <laughs> Baylor, Baszler has got the submission locked in. You'd think she'd have learned by now because she's lost about 20 times now doing that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so you'd, you'd think she's uh, she's learned that's that's going to roll on now, isn't it? Until uh, do you think we're going to get Baszler versus Oscar at, at Mania? I hope so. Um, but that would mean them losing the tag titles, surely, unless they have, you know, an appearance on both nights. Which, let's be fair, at this point is quite likely. Yeah. No, I think but... it's an absolute cert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tag titles one night, singles match the next. Absolutely. But yeah, I really yeah. like Oscar's. You know, more intense. No, it's only kick change of more like, Yeah, it's more like her NXT. Yeah, Oscar is like a the thing with the thing with the women's division at the minute. Obviously, after after Sunday, they've already advertised that Rhea Ripley's going to be on Raw on Monday. Yeah, they've advertised like fifteen times. They've done that the last. Yeah, they've done that since since the Royal Rumble. Though. Oh no, no, they've they've, yeah. they've announced that she's going to be on Raw on Monday. Oh right, okay. okay. That she's she's we'll she makes a Raw debut. No, no, WWE have announced it. She makes and, a Raw uh, debut. Yeah, but on they Monday. did they did that a few weeks ago. They said she'll no, be on they... Monday, then they changed it. Yeah, what, just... but can't make which one. Yeah, but I think it she was... will be... You'd, you'd like to think so the second time. If they advertise it for a second time, then you'd like to think so. Yeah, yeah. but um, you, you've got to factor Rhea Ripley in here because she's gonna, surely going to be a, a part of some sort of women's title match at WrestleMania. There's, what's the point otherwise? Yeah, good Yeah, point. I'd hope so. Mm. Mm. Fingers crossed. Definitely needs it. Um yeah. Yeah. Backstage, uh, Ali is. <laughs> I'm mentioning this just because it made me laugh. Um, Ali is trying to fire up Retribution prior to his uh, title match with Riddle. <laughs> Riddle comes whizzing by on his scooter, making vroom noises. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, yeah, mean, I I'm not, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not overly keen on the on the current Riddle character. I think they're making him look too stupid, and it's too kind of like stonerish joke things. Yeah. But that was funny. The thing yes. is, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Yes. I mean, he played a stupid character in NXT, and you know, they basically say, you know, oh, he's all fun and games outside of the ring, but inside the ring, yeah, he's serious. Which is... at least he's not doing comedy shit inside the ring, which is good. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's that's fine, and that is a, that is a good point. That yes, in ring, it's you know, displaying his his true talents. Um, that match wasn't mm-hmm. really. I, I didn't really not really much to write about that match. R- um, Riddle versus Ali. Riddle wins. Uh, nothing match. Retribution. I thought, right. I thought it was a good match. Yeah, it was. I thought it was okay. Good. It was good. Yeah. Uh, but by the two of them standards, so, I think it definitely could have been better. Yeah, I thought right. it was quick. It could have been given a bit more time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Retribution, please go. Um. <laughs> And then, having already seen Drew earlier on in the night, he's back. Uh, I mean, to cut another promo. Very strange. Uh, yeah, um, I thought that was weird, yeah. No uh, need. Ahead of uh, the main event, which was Sheamus versus Lashley. Slugfest, enjoyable match, plenty of uh, false finishes, and uh, Lashley won with the spear. Um, good match. Either, yeah, it was. was a good yeah, match. And then good. he puts, put the hurt lock on Sheamus after the match. And then Drew hit Lashley with the with the claymore. So they're all still involved. They're all still there. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a theme here with the matches that they're having Sheamus have at the minute, like really sort of like knockdown brawls. You know what I mean? Like real yeah. sort of hard so hitting think, type matches. 
Mm. Yeah, the match for Sunday is a no holds barred match, isn't it? Shame. Yeah, they'll be true. they'll be the crap out of each other. Yeah, they will. Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be really good. <laughs> yeah, be really good. So Raw, do you know what? And, and for fear of, and I said this to you, didn't I, Sonny? For fear of sounding like a broken record, this would have been a very very good episode of Raw had it been two hours long and they were able to cut out some of the crap that was in there. Yeah, I mean, you just you just don't need multiple appearances by people in one no. night. You don't need no. two Drew McIntyre promos. You don't need Nia Jax and Shayla, Shayna Baszler doing four appearances a, you know, a night. You know, there's so much stuff that they could mm. cut out. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it feels like they've got... Well, I mean, this it doesn't feel like it. It's the facts. They've got too much talent and they, they want to try and... They, yeah, they don't know what to do with it and they want to they think having a three-hour show is obviously the answer to it, but you're not using all the talent that you've already got. So what's the point? Mm. Yes, absolutely. So same old, same old, really, with Raw. Uh, it's been, been better. It was was an okay go-home show. It, it kind of it served its purpose. So there we go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll move on to uh, NXT. I thought NXT was pretty good this week. Yeah, NXT was good, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Karrion Cross and Finn Balor will face off at... Uh, stand and deliver. Yeah. For the title. Stand and deliver. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna get hammered over the next few weeks. <laughs> I'm all for it. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. great. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to face each other. That that should be a, a really good match. Uh, yeah. And just so we, we get a really good build out of that over the next few weeks. Mm. Uh, Dexter Loomis beat Austin Theory in a in a in a good match. I yeah, it was really good. good as well. Yeah. Um, it's just it's just quite funny. I mean, the the, the dynamic between the two. I think Austin Theory <laughs> yeah. wants to be his best friend, and Loomis is having none of it. So that was fine. Good match. Um, Del Fantasma <laughs> beat Breezango, and then following the match, Jordan Devlin comes out and confronts Santos Escobar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they will face each other. At NXT Takeover, stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. <laughs> well, well, I talked about that. Um, I got more bad than Trent, Trent Seven because obviously he. Yes, had oh, yes, yeah. I agree. So that again, like, sorry. Yes, I'm not winning. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. We just had Trent Seven had a match on NXT UK for the NXT Gridway title after the day after uh, NXT, but it's like, well, it's <laughs> what you just said. It's you know, Jordan Devlin versus Escobar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ultra. you know what? Um, thing yeah, is, it was obvious that because you know Escobar, you know, in fairness to him, said go finish your business in the UK, then come back. It's like, well, that yeah. ain't gonna happen, is it? So he's they've <laughs> dragged him out there now. He's there until takeover, stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dearie, mate. Anyway, that should be yeah, a fun. That should be. A- that should they should be a really good one. I really like Jordan Devlin. He, uh, you know, when when he obviously when he first came in that first British tournament and he was getting you just to shit Finn Balor, and, <laughs> you know, and all of that oh, stick. Yeah. But he's actually he's he's really come into his own and he's a very talented guy. Um, yeah, um, at the age of the end, like from the house show, I think it's in Ireland. Um, they had Finn Balor there, and they were saying he was just a shit Jordan Devlin. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was yeah, yeah. that's good. It was good stuff. Um, we had uh, Zoe Stark versus Dakota Kai. I thought this was a really good match. Yeah, Zoe Stark looks uh, the real deal, yeah. man. Real, she real does. She, yeah, really. she's been being pushed as well. So yeah, I, I'm really impressed with with her. Um, and then after the match, uh, I mean, Dakota Kai did win. Io Shirai comes out. Dakota Kai thinks that she's there for her, but instead she walks around Dakota Kai and gives Raquel Gonzalez a contract to sign for a title match. Mm. Where at? Is it at um, Takeover Stand and Deliver? Stand and Deliver. I genuinely wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> it is, is, yeah. Is it, yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's two nights it's to fill. They've got to fill it with summit. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do that. Really? To be fair, they've got millions of wrestlers on that roster i'm sure they'll well, they out. have and and the, the, you know both nights don't have to be three hours for an xt no 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 i wouldn't two hours so, yeah yeah, yeah. Could i mean you got to believe you got to believe that one of the nights will be headlined by adam cole and kyle o'reilly and the next one will be headlined by uh finn balor and carrying cross yeah yeah, yeah. which i'll which i will take 
Um, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, Champa defeats Bartel. Um, no, Champa's grown his hair. He looks like the uh, the next door neighbour in Home Alone. <laughs> the old guy. Yeah, that, yeah. Kevin McAllister's uh, scared of. Yeah, I What's agree. He does look like that. Also, how mm. old is Champa, by the way? I mean, he looks he looks old, but I don't think he is. I'm going to have a look now, actually. While... He's 26. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I wouldn't uh, Tommaso <laughs> Champa is 35, so he's younger than us. Really? He's younger than me, at least, yeah. Wow, then yeah, he probably is older than me. But he he's, he's the same age. <laughs> it makes me feel a little bit better about myself. In terms of, like, hair, I mean, I'd look fuck all like him from the neck down, but, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hair and stuff it makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> yeah i mean to be honest it makes me think i look incredibly young for my age the scene like tomaso champa at 35 looking like a very weathered 46 yeah, year old <laughs> he looks like he's had uh he looks like i would have i would have uh put him at probably like 42 yeah i could be early 40s yeah for sure you know hey yeah whatever do you know what i suppose when you're that ripped it doesn't really matter Exactly. Well, no, yeah, the, yeah, no, there is that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, you bold bastard! <laughs> Look at this. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, after the match, uh, Walter arrives uh, and gives uh, Champa the loudest chop I ever think I've, I think I've heard in my life. Pretty now loudy. I've seen Walter <laughs> live, and you know, there's been plenty of matches back, uh, especially on NXT UK and whatnot, where or. UK takeover shows where the crowd have gone quiet before he does the chop. This wasn't. He just ran up to him, chopped him, and I, I rewound it about five times. <laughs> Unbelievable. The guy gets... That must fucking hurt. But yeah. remember, guys, wrestling is fake. So yeah. he, obviously yeah. doesn't, he obviously doesn't hurt because no, wrestling is not real. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, um, I'm quarterback. I'm very happy. Mm. Mm. Uh, it'd be great yes. for Walter versus Champa... For the UK title at Takeover would be great as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, that would be awesome. Yeah, because yeah. this all this all uh, this is all about uh, them trying to get Thatcher into Imperium, isn't it? Mm. And I think it'll work. I think you know, at the end of the day, I think you know Thatcher will be in Champa's corner or whatever for the title match. And I know it sounds obvious, but you know, I still think it would be the best way to go is to have Thatcher cost Champa the. The, yeah. the match and join Imperium. Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, for sure. Reunite those guys. Um, LA Knight debuts. Um, you, I, I guess <laughs> that's what we're going to expect from him. Great promo guy. Uh, mm. Really good uh, in ring as well. During the match, uh, Bronson Reed uh, stands at the top of the ramp with his uh, with LA Knight's jacket. Obviously, it doesn't fit him. Bronson Reed mm. is, a, is a monster of a guy and he just rips rips it to pieces so yeah that's pretty cool that'll be, yeah. good. That'll be good matches I'll, i would imagine that'll be um a match at takeover as well probably la knight versus bronson reed yeah is that takeover stand and deliver, stand and deliver. Uh, come on yeah cool uh, uh <laughs> one thing i haven't uh mentioned actually is throughout the night there was a, a bit between Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Now I got a little bit confused. So Kyle O'Reilly wasn't allowed in the building or something like that. Adam Cole yeah. was there, but then a bit later on, they're both getting arrested. I, 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 I'm not really sure what happened there. I think Kyle O'Reilly was supposed to like knock him off, the, drive him off the road. There's like Kyle accident. He was like trying to get him off the road. They both getting arrested. Right. Because Kyle I mean, accident. I did, I did watch it, but I was kind of like looking and thinking, what's what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah, Kyle O'Reilly, fresh from from his uh, from a Avenged Sevenfold concert that he's been to. So um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first day of download. Look, um, and then we we finished the night with um, Karrion Cross and Finn Balor taking on Lorcan and Birch. Uh, the conclusion of the match: Finn kicks Lorcan into Scarlet Bordeaux, knocks her over. Karrion Cross just sees red, grabs Finn Balor, and smashes his head against those uh, perspex, uh, perspex things. Uh, Lorcan hits his finisher, uh, pins Finn, and uh, the tag champs win. Uh, and then mm-hmm. after the match, Karrion Cross attacks, mm-hmm. continues to attack Finn Balor. So, I mean, it was your standard kind of, you two are 
you two are going to have a feud and are going to have a title match in a few weeks' time. But until then, have a tag match. See if you yeah. can get on. Which yeah. they it's so do. unimaginative at this point, isn't it? It really is. It really is. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of... I, I guess it's why I, when you've watched... I mean, I've not watched wrestling as long as you two, or especially you, Sonny. Um, but you can understand why you end up getting a little bit cynical about stuff with wrestling because it's like, oh, yeah, they did this before such and such build in 96 and 97 and 98. And it just... It's just rinse and repeat, isn't it? It is definitely rinse and repeat. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah. we come back and still watch it for those uh, for those good matches and things like that, and those good moments. Okay. Um, so, unfortunately, I haven't had chance to watch AW Dynamite. I'll hand over to you, Mr. Garner. To talk yeah, I watched... That. Yeah, I watched um, I watched Dynamite and it was a good show. You know, main event was incredible. We'll get to that in a little bit. But um, a match I was looking forward to but disappointed me a little was Cody against uh, Penta. Okay. Um, I thought it was okay. You know, it, it, it came across a little bit sluggish um, and ultimately was just fine. Cody won with a, uh, with a, a you know, pretty standard pin, pinning combination. And... Yeah, picked up the win. Then all of a sudden, like all these people are sort of flying in the ring, the Nightmare Family, and um, it just all got a bit, a little bit messy. And yeah, then QT Marshall was late to the party, and there's something going on there. But it was, it was okay. Um, it wasn't the match that I think it could have been. Uh, you know, both men can definitely deliver better. But yeah, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was just you know somewhere in the middle. It was fine. Mm. Um. I mean the real, the real highs of the of the night. You know the the pinnacle being unveiled by MJF um, last week. You know the expense of the inner circle was great. This week MJF cut a great promo introducing um, the pinnacle. Tully Blanchard, you know, took the reins of the mic first and got a really good promo. Actually, I thought Tully Blanchard mm. did a really good job there. Uh, then MJF came along and just in- introduced everybody separately. Uh, before you know, continuing to run down the inner circle and Chris Jericho, and you know, he ended his promo with you know the I'm better than you and you know it, and you know that this is going to be, I mean, this is top draw heel work that we're seeing right now from MJF. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and I, you know, when we get the pinnacle versus uh, the inner circle, it's going to be it's going to be really special. I'm really looking forward to it, and um, yeah. you know, MJF is. 24 years old and he's he is the future um of AEW and professional wrestling in general he's just so good yeah um i noticed that he put a trademark in for his ring name this week as well so that interesting so that that he can keep that so um Mm. yeah that's great um good match between if not a little bit short between uh ray phoenix and um angelico big fan of both Ray, ray phoenix is uh probably Probably one of the best in the world at the minute, mm. for sure. Um, and Helico, yeah. I'm a big fan of, and have been since you know Lucha Underground. And this is a good match. I wish I wish it was a little bit longer because both men have got some serious skill sets to show off. They really have. Um, yeah. So I want to see that match again, but just in just longer. Basically, Ray, Ray Fenix picks up the victory. Um, Pack is there at ringside, and obviously they're challenging for the tag team championships somewhere down the line. Uh, the big, the big thing this week, you know, um, is the the women's match that main evented. Uh, before I get to that, uh, Mox and Eddie Kingston had a tag match against the Good Brothers, which was fine. Um, I like the chemistry between Moxley and the, and uh, Eddie Kingston. That match was again, it was just fine. A lot of people were saying, sort of, this is you know the best episode of Dynamite yet. For me, it wasn't. I mean, there was definitely moments of brilliance in there, but it was it wasn't all gold. You know, there was just some mm-hmm. stuff that didn't need to happen. Like there was a six man, t- there was a an eight man tag in there with uh, Jurassic Express and uh, Bear Country uh, against um, another group, and that was just fine. And this tag match between Moxley uh, Kingston against the Good Brothers was just fine. Omega came out afterwards and did a little dance, which I thought was cool, but. <laughs> Otherwise, it was just largely forgettable and maybe slightly, in, you know, incoherent in terms of the direction it's going in. Um, mm. I mean, I have a feeling that we're 
you know, it's potentially heading towards the Young Bucks against the Good Brothers because the Young Bucks came out and, you know, stopped them from beating down Moxley and Kingston. But it all seemed a little messy to me. Speaking of messy, again, we had another very messy promo. Um, Tony Schiavone uh, interviewing Sting, who actually didn't say any words. Yes. And Darby Allen was interrupted by Lance Archer and Jake the Snake Roberts once again. Then it was interrupted by Team Taz and Brian Cage saying how much he respected Sting. And, you know, then sort of Team Taz were having a go at Brian Cage saying, what are you doing? You know, but Ricky Stark said he's smoking crack, which was great. And <laughs> then sort of Brian Cage broke away from the pack and stormed off backstage. And Sting was already halfway down the tunnel when it cut back to him. So that was a mess again. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um the only, the only real takeaway I got from it was that Darby Allen wants to be a fighting champion and is going to start to defend the TNT Championship weekly on Dynamite. That starts next week where he's going to defend it against uh, um, Johnny Huggins of the Dark Order. Oh, cool. So that's cool. But um, yeah, then it went to the main event, which was the, where the real, you know, the real quality of, uh, you know, a, a of this week's dynamite was, and it was Dr. Britt Baker, DMD against Thunder Rosa in a lights out match. And these two women, they went to war, man. They beat the living shit out of each other. And it was great. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. The two of them just put it all out there. Uh, this was the first women's main event of, um, you know, the dynamite era. And it was really, really good. Uh, like I said, great back and forth, really brutal. Both women bleeding. There was, you know, ladders involved, chairs involved, thumbtacks involved, a lot of crimson, you know, it was it was just really good. If you haven't watched it, um, it's probably easily the match of the week across any promotion. And it's mm. definitely, you know, the big highlight of the wrestling week for me. And it's definitely the highlight of Dynamite, apart from uh, MJF's promo. But it was, yeah, it was, it was an okay episode of Dynamite. The two real standout moments were MJF introducing the pinnacle and uh, Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa going one-on-one. Um, but yeah. Really, really, really good match. Really yeah, good. Yeah. And Thunder Rosa, up, Thunder Rosa picking up a uh, a big victory, which, you know, Hikaru Shida was watching on. Of course, she's the AEW Women's Champion at present. Uh, so you've got to believe that Thunder Rosa is probably next in line to challenge her for the championship, which I'm all about. Thunder Rosa is great. Glad she didn't go WWE to get ruined. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, I need to get back watch that match. You need to start yeah. watching Dynamite. I told you this last week. Stop watching <laughs> fucking Raw and watch Dynamite instead. Well, it was on a Monday. By the time I watch AEW, it'll be Monday. So it'll be after the podcast. Well, just watch AEW before that then. Well, I, there's no time because at Thursday, I have to watch NXT the night before. Fridays, I don't know. Fridays, whenever. Stop Friday going on. Monday. Stop going on <laughs> howquicktobeat.com or whatever yeah. the porn site you were looking at was <laughs> and just watch Dynamite instead. <laughs> uh. If only our time. Yeah. So yeah, that was AEW. It was, you know, it was. It wasn't a terrible show. Um, it wasn't the outstanding show that people are, you know, saying. That there was a couple of of really fantastic moments there, though, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All cool, good stuff. Okay, so I will uh, move on to SmackDown, uh, the final show of the week. So you'll never guess who was on SmackDown first off. Shane yeah. Baszler. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Uh, yeah. So Nia Jax had a match against uh, Sasha Banks. Uh, fine. Uh, I think it was actually for the title. Um, which, yeah, was it? It was, um, yeah. Yeah, Bank, Banks retains after Baszler accidentally kicked Nia, which looked shit. It looked really bad because you can yeah. make accidental kicks look a lot better than that. That was just a, oh, I've got to wait till she's in position. Oh, punter. So there you go. It, it didn't look uh, great. It was fine. Uh, Bianca Belair was involved as well. And we still have that tag match at Fastlane this Sunday. We do indeed. Thank you, Finn. Um, right. So in a continuation of a new segment, what is Seth Rollins wearing? Here we go. So, Seth Rollins comes down to the ring and he's wearing uh, brown shoes, no socks, of course, because he is the fashion icon of SmackDown. Uh, he's got navy trousers on with a navy shirt, uh, a slightly lighter blue tie, very nice, uh, very nice contrast in colours there. But the real main event of 
what Seth Rollins was wearing this week was the white jacket that he had on. So it was a white jacket, but as you got further down the sleeves, it looked like spray paint and then into a solid navy colour, which matched the trousers perfectly. And it was the same for the for the bottom of the jacket as well. So that had got like spray painty bits on it. Navy down at the bottom. Um, I, I couldn't take my eyes off it. Um, he looked fantastic, as he usually does. You what, sorry, Finn? It looked like they'd been dipped in paint. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But um, and of course, topped off with a black wanking glove on the right hand. So, <laughs> yeah. So that is uh, what Seth Rollins wore. Uh, tune in next week to find out what he was on SmackDown next week. Okay, you can cut the music now. There we go. Perfect. Um, <laughs> perfect. 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 <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's obviously, he's out there talking about Cesaro, but then Nakamura interrupts uh, and they have a bit of a, a bit of a brawl after that. And I believe mm. we are getting Nakamura versus Seth at Fast. We are, yeah. That's definitely been, uh, it's been yeah. officially announced that is happening, yeah. It is indeed. That'd be cool. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, I'm sure we will see Cesaro at some point in that match as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and probably get a triple threat at WrestleMania. Um <laughs> Awesome. Dom and Ray defeat the Street Profits, uh, the Dirty Dogs or the Top Dogs or Rudolph, whatever they're called, yes. at ringside. Um, straight after the match. Uh, sorry, go on, Finn. It was, it was a good match. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was fine. It was absolutely fine. Um, after the match, Otis and Gable come to the ring. They trash talk Mysterios. They have a little bit of a brawl, and then we come back, and Dom and Ray are back into another match. So, you know, you know, we've got we've got people pulling double duty again. Um, Otis, actually, he picks up the win. He, he pins uh, Dom. Did an incredible splash from the from the second row. A guy that size should not be able to travel that far off the second row. But fair play. The German suplex in the lead up to that was nasty looking, though. Oh, yeah. Mm, yes, Why it was. It? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, that's it's fine. Um, it's it's yeah. I mean, you've got the street the street profits are uh, still after their their title shot. So I'm not sure where this is heading. Eight man uh, four way. Oh, I'm like going to go four way at WrestleMania between yeah. the four teams. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Which is look. I mean, you know, whether you like Ziggler or not, or whether you think Dom and Ray should be a tag team or what, whatever. At least we've got some sort of tag division in SmackDown, yeah, exactly. which is more than can yeah. be can be said for. For uh, Raw, by the looks of it, mm. um, Daniel Bryan um, then cuts a promo, says he's going to make Roman Reigns tap at Fastlane. <laughs> very much. Um, Roman Reigns comes out, skip five minutes, then he starts talking. Um, <laughs> usual sort of stuff from sexy Roman. Um, Baron <laughs> Corbin beats uh, Sami Zayn quite easily. Uh, but after the match, uh, Sami Zayn kicks Kevin Owens' head off. Yeah, he yeah. kills him. He's dead. And it looked Rip. fucking dead. nasty. Because yeah. Owens it looked awful. Was, it looked really bad because Owens wasn't looking. So Owens was ringside. Uh, I think Sami had asked him to asked him to be there. Uh, Owens was was on was on comms, um, and he was almost like looking the other way, and then just this foot just come from nowhere. Um, right ahead. And yeah, pretty. He just. Kicked his head off. Uh, it looked like it genuinely. Yeah, it looked like it looked pretty nasty. I, I'd be, I'd be shocked if there's not some, if there isn't some sort of bruise in there on uh, Kevin Owens's face because yeah. uh, it was pretty nasty. Um, it's fine. Sami Zayn right. then just just lost his shit. So we're yeah. getting the, Kevin versus Owens. Sami here. Do we think then? Uh, yeah, oh, I, hope so. I hope there's a Saber for Mania because that you know they've proven. They can do they have like an incredible, you know, five star match. Yeah. So yeah. Mania. yeah, and that's it. And with Mania being two nights, then if they're gonna have a match, give that match time. Like you say, they've they've mm. had five star matches or or whatever you you know, really, really top matches, especially down yeah. in, in NXT. So um yeah, give them time if they do have that match. Kevin Owens yeah. will probably jump off some fucking mental as well. He, he looks <laughs> out. Okay. Um I quite like to see a cage match actually between them two. That'd be quite cool. Mm. Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah, yeah, why not? That'd be quite good. 
quite good. Um, <clears throat> then we have uh, Apollo and Biggie have a sit down interview. They're obviously in, in separate separate locations, uh, but uh, they don't want to wait until until Sunday and they go looking for each other backstage. Uh, Biggie gets on the golf cart, finds finds Apollo Cruz, and uh, yeah, they have a they have a big old big old punch up backstage. I can't I cannot deal with Apollo Cruz's accent. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was I, I, I um yeah, it is it's it's tricky. Is it? I, I mean, it's, it's because it's because we know he doesn't sound like that. It'd be like if Kobe Kingston suddenly got back to make an accent. It's like we already know how he talks. You can't just have him suddenly like if we spoke like that from the start, then that's fine because David did. That's just how you know we would think he talks, but. You know, you know what it sounds like. Uh, yeah, it almost it's, sounded uh, like a bad, a bad parody, didn't it? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Uh, uh, and... It's like he'd watched. It's like he'd watched Black Panther one too many times. Well, decided. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, not, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you mean. It, it, it's, yeah. Um, he, he sounded like talking, Chadwick he... Boseman in, in Black Panther. That's what he sounded he, like. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think this gimmick is going away anytime soon, or this uh, persona. Is no, going I, th- away, I think so. he'll win the belt on Sunday. Yeah, I, I do as well. Yeah, I no, I, I mean, I'll be like Apollo, always have, and I'm glad he's got his new character. But the accent, just I don't know, something about it, I just like. Just been the accent off. off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just, yeah. They tried. Yeah, it's it's, it's just it's just not not needed. It's just it just isn't needed. It isn't. Yeah. You know, and, and it's rubbish as well because that, that that's the big problem, isn't it? Because you know he doesn't sound like that, and exactly. that's the big that's the big problem there. Because yeah, it's all right changing you know up somebody's look and changing up somebody's gimmick. Yeah, great. You know, if you're if you have a Nigerian heritage, great. That's absolute. That's that's fine. Yeah. You know, live up to that. That's that's perfect. But you don't need to shoehorn a voice in there because you know he's cut promos. We could just go back and watch him do promos in not that voice. Yeah. So to give him another voice, uh, just seems a little bit. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You know. Yeah. You know, right. It's not. It's not for me. It isn't for me. No. No. It is. Yeah. Just it feels a bit forced, and uh, it's it borderlines on it being comedy as well. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Not I mean, I'm not sure how. Course. Yeah, I'm not sure how Biggie didn't laugh. To be honest, as soon as he started talking, I laughed. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's. Um, Oh, well. I'm just, I'm just, I'll skip it after that. Like, oh, okay, no, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to watch. I think. I think it's difficult to watch. Yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, you know, not taking the mick out of the Nigerian accent. No, 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 not Ac- at all. Accents are accents. You know, you, you know, it's, it's it's where you come from, and that's how you talk. Absolutely yeah. fine. No, I'm uh, saying it's just fact, we know it, he doesn't talk like that. I, I <laughs> think it goes very. It goes. Yeah, absolutely. It goes very quickly from being kind of you snigger to a little bit like, oh, this is awkward. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it goes to that very, very quickly. But hey, what do we know? We're three, three white dudes. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So um, then we have, you'll never guess who was also, who, who came back out on SmackDown. Oh, who was on? Who was on? <laughs> Shane of Bloody Baszler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it much this week. I just did it around. Uh, so that was the fourth appearance this week from her and <laughs> and and or Nia Jax. Um, yeah. So she had a match against Bianca. Uh, Nia was ringside. Uh, I didn't really watch it. Um, <laughs> uh, apparently, no. Nia did. Nia did walk off, walk off and walked away from the match. Uh, but then uh, Natalia and Tamina interrupted the match and attack Baszler and Bianca. Oh uh, yeah. So that's well, the thing. fine. Yeah, sure. I mean, at least that's another <laughs> women's tag team to add to the yeah. list of not many women's tag teams. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say at least something. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, yeah that's literally that silence basically says it all. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. you know, no one who cares. <laughs> who I mean, cares? Not, yeah, at least they're doing something with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, I, I've got no problem with it. I really have no problem with it. It's just. You know, you you've right. not given us a reason to make the women's tag make make anybody care about the women's tag team titles at all. Yeah. No, they're trying. No. It's a it's going to be a long process, but they're trying. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to try. Yeah, just put uh, Billy Kay back with Peyton Royce and have them win it. There you go. Yeah, yep. yeah. Why break TV, up gold. TV gold every week? Yeah, yeah. So 
Okay, and there we come to the main event of the night, which is Edge versus Jimmy and or Jay. Uh, it's Jay. Um, the winner is the special enforcer for the Brian, Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns match at Fastlane. Uh, what, what did you think of this match? I think Edge looked good. Yeah, I thought he looked good. I thought he looked. Yeah, I, thought I, so. I, I thought he looked like he hadn't missed a beat. To be honest, I thought. Same. I thought his selling was absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Um, My notes here say Edge can still go. So yeah, know. yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the, he hasn't missed a beat. He looks in fantastic no. shape. Um, yeah. yeah, I've got. I, I, you know, I, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I, what the only thing that I will say is when the commentary were like, "Yeah, the the enforcer will have some authority." What authority? Well, they... He's there to just keep the peace. <laughs> Yeah. Weird. Yeah, count, count people out. He's going, don't worry, ref, I've got this. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Um, yeah. 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 yeah hits I'll him look, with a chair. Yeah. The ref's going to call for the bell. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I'm calling this. It's not a disqualification. Chairs are out. That's absolutely going to happen. I can definitely see that happening. I, that. I, I think was so. So Edge won the match, which is fantastic. So he Good, yeah. is the uh, he, he's the special enforcer, but what I think is actually going to happen someday. I know we're going to talk about it, obviously on the pre-show before the pre-show, is that Daniel Bryan looks like he's going to beat Reigns, and then Edge does something like puts Reigns' foot under the rope or puts it on the rope, so the mm -hmm. pin gets broke because he wants to face Reigns at Mania, not Daniel Bryan. Hmm, interesting. Fine, yeah, okay. I mean, to be honest, and that's where uh, we'll be heading. To be honest, I want Edge versus Reigns. That's what I want to see yeah. at WrestleMania. I don't really yeah. need to see Daniel Bryan involved in that. Daniel Bryan will be on the card at WrestleMania. There's two nights, plenty of time to fill. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I again, I still see Daniel Bryan turning up on NXT to fight Pete Dunne. Yeah, I want that. I still think that's going to happen. I know, you know, people don't agree with me, and that's fine. Maybe but, he can be a fan of liver. Yeah, but you know, maybe you know, lose a fast lane, and then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> lose a fast lane, take a bit of time away from the main <laughs> roster for just a couple of weeks, and you know, build to. Get, you know, go at NXT Takeover, stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That'd be cool. But yes, I, yeah, I, I think I, I think. I think Edge will cost Daniel Bryan. Uh, sorry, Edge will cost Daniel Bryan in some way. Yeah. 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 Imagine like Pete Dunne only being, <coughs> excuse me, the week before um, Stand Deliver. Saying I have no opponent, I'm the best at the rest of the level, uh, and then Daniel Bryan's music hits, uh, everyone goes wild. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd be absolutely amazing. I'd love that. Hundred mm. percent. Yeah, and then uh, but at the end of all of that, uh, Roman Reigns just spares everyone. And it yep. looks looks strong and tall going into the fast lane pay per view this Sunday. Yeah, I think that's perfect for Roman Reigns. I think it was really good booking. You know, don't have him wrestle, just you no know, have him look strong, have him kick everyone's ass as easily as possible, you know, yeah. with how it can really work. Uh yeah. yeah. Uh, if you didn't know, uh Fast Lane is live on Peacock, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. Um, I, I think yeah. Do you reckon that's coming to UK eventually, or is it going to have nice no, 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 no. It's, it's like an it's like an American TV on demand thing. I think I'm not even sure what it is, but um, I, the the network won't change here. Okay, good. No, it would. It, you'd have to you'd have to get someone else to pick it up, like like ITV Hub or <laughs> something like that. Apparently, yeah. it's an absolute mess. Oh, really? Yeah, I've I, I read a couple of things. Yeah, that the because uh, they haven't even got everything loaded onto it yet, so the whole. <laughs> archive isn't there and searching for certain pay-per-views apparently it's an absolute apparently it's, it's an absolute mess yeah it can't defeat the purpose if you can't go back and watch all, all pay-per-views it's not like the main point of yeah, yeah that and watching that and watching the pay-per-views yeah so exactly. appara apparently some some of like the nxt uh takeovers some of them are under n for nxt some of them are under w for wwe nxt takeover mm -hmm. Some of them are under T for TakeOver. It apparently, it is just all over the place. WrestleMania is down as uh, it's a, as a TV series and has 36 seasons. Each season has one episode. Um, King of the Ring 99 is apparently in season seven of WrestleMania. 
Uh, right. So it is. It is apparently it is a mess. It's all over the place. So I hope they don't change anything over here because now I think the network is fine. Yeah, it's, good. It's pretty decent. It works now. perfect as it is. Obviously, you know the yeah. only reason they've done it is for more money. You know, they've, someone's money. bought the rights to it, and you know that, that you know the money talks at the end of the day. So I don't think it'll happen here. I don't think anybody would be interested in picking it up, um, yeah. and they don't need to because you know. Why? I, yeah, why, they just don't need to. Just, why mess yeah. with it? I just don't yeah. get it. But so, um, so yeah, that was SmackDown then. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, the final show. All good. Yeah. Based on reports, apparently WrestleMania tickets are nearly sold out. There wasn't many left. Apparently, like a thousand or something for each night. Um, mm. They could even be gone at time of recording or by the time this podcast releases. But yeah, it's going to be great to uh, to see actual people back in. Um, a, you know, a WWE. Pay per view event, mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Although the build, as you know, obviously the build will start properly after Fast Lane on Sunday, but um, I'm sure WrestleMania will still be um, a spectacle. Yeah. I know there's not going to be ninety thousand there or whatever, but it's going to be a spectacle. And you know, I, I'm I'm really looking forward to WrestleMania weekend. I mean, last year it was done and it was so different; it was ridiculous. This year it's going to be a bit more, you know, of a, a regular show. Yeah, mm. definitely looking forward to it yeah. for sure. Big and entrance ramp, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, and of course, you know the the most important news is that Hulk Hogan and Titus O'Neil are going to be hosting this year's <laughs> WrestleMania. Yep, quite an interesting duo. Well, yeah, that's that's uh, that's a, yeah, it's certainly a thing that's happening. I mean, you know, <laughs> what well, what can you say? I'm sure Titus yeah. is delighted. By the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah but he's but he's over the moon yeah I'm, I'm sure i'm pretty certain he's buzzing for it yeah mm. oh boy wb yeah Good. look i mean <laughs> titus titus is great you know he doesn't wrestle yeah. much these days and you know he could pull off you know doing the presenting just fine uh hogan is hogan and he doesn't need to, i don't really think the wrestlemania needs a host no. I, re- I don't understand this just a wrestling paper no. doesn't need a host it just is you know, yeah. um, but WWE are going to WWE, and they think that by putting Hulk Hogan and Titus O'Neil together, that we're going to forget that Hulk Hogan um, enjoys the N word. Where so, a bit of you, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's a right. I don't. I don't know if Hogan. I'm not. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm not. I'm not oh, going to yeah. go there <laughs> uh, because yeah, you know, I'm going to be opening up a can of worms that I, I don't want to open. So yeah. um, Hogan and Titus are doing the hosting. Sure. Sure. Maybe if one was hosting one night and one was hosting the other, it maybe wouldn't be look look so bad. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that could happen still. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Just looks a bit forced at the minute, doesn't it? Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, hundred percent. But so much to look forward to in the coming weeks. WrestleMania is three weeks away now. Mm. Uh, so yeah. So and obviously we've got NXT Takeover, Stand and Deliver that week as well. Yep. But the focus, of course, is on this Sunday's Fast Lane pay per view. And we will be live on Facebook and YouTube this coming Sunday night at 9 p.m. Obviously, this may have already gone if you are listening to this after Sunday, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, jo- uh, join Steve and myself and hopefully Finn just a bit later on uh, on Powered 4 TV and on the Games and Graps channels. But yeah. for now, yeah, this has been episode. 136 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single week across podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash Games Graps and the Games and Graps YouTube, uh, Facebook and YouTube and everywhere else. All the places that you can get podcasts. Absolutely. Yeah. But for now, my name is Sonny G and I've been joined by Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve. See you later. And we'll be back next week with more of the same. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Games and Grabs, your weekly reach around.